The line between Southampton and Brockenhurst was opened in 1847 by the Southampton and Dorchester Railway. It actually avoided Bournemouth and went by a place called Ringwood on the Castleman's course grew. Today though, we're going to be looking at the original part of that line between Brockenhurst and Southampton, going through the lovely forest area, the new forest, and also the containers at Southampton Port. So my name is Simon, you join me at Brockenhurst Railway Station. We're going to carry on the journey towards Southampton. Now I'm waiting for the half 10 to arrive, Southwestern Railway Service to take me to the first station up the line. Ashurst, <coughs> New Forest. If I pronounce that wrong, feel free to comment down below. But it's going to be a mess of a plan today, but you see why it's going to be a mess of a plan, because we're also going to visit along the way Hampshire's Leash Use Station. Now the problem is, if I got off at Beaudy Rose right now, it wouldn't be the two hour wait for the next train, so I wouldn't be stuck here for two hours. So right behind me here is Ashurst, New Forest, and honestly it's a lovely little location. It's got some lovely houses around here, it's got a lovely little station, it's got staggered platforms but two platforms, and it's just a lovely little area. So this station opened on the 1st of June 1847 but when it was opened it was actually named Lindhurst Road and honestly that is so much easier to pronounce. Station Ash... Ash... Join me at Ashurst... Ash... Ashurst... So you now join me at Ashurst... Uh, flipping hell! It wasn't until 1995 when this station was renamed to its current name Ashurst for New Forest. So between Ashurst New Forest and Brockenhurst there's a station called Bewley Road. Now as I mentioned on the train coming up here, if I stopped off at Bewley Road it would have been two hours filming there and waiting there. But I have managed to work out a plan to be there for 25 minutes. So go to go over on the other platform, wait for the 12.06 to arrive to take me to Bewley Road and then have 25 minutes at Bewley Road before I head to Tottenham. So right behind me here is Bewley Road Railway Station, the least used station in Hampshire, which had about 11,832 passengers between 2021 to 2022. And I'll tell you a quick story because when I did the Limited video, which was this morning actually, I filmed it, the conductor on the trail, the guard, asked what was my plans for the rest of the day? I said I was going to do all stations between Brockenhurst and Southampton. He goes, including Bewley Road, Yes. So 
So the history of Beaudy Road Railway Station is that it opens by the Southampton and Dorchester Railway in June 1847. However, though, it did close in 1860. And this station didn't reopen till 1895. Half of the cars that are passing through, which you can hear in the background, moments there's total quietness at this railway station. I would have loved to be here for two hours now, but I am going to leave. So we are waiting for the 1235 Southwestern Railway Service to take us to Tottenham. It is really about four minutes late at the moment. So right behind me here is Tottenham Station which is the next location that I'm going to be filming trains for another video and take a look at this railway station. Now this is the last station before the junction from Romsey joins the southwestern main line at Redbridge. However though you can't get a train direct from here to Redbridge which is an issue because Redbridge is the next station. So in 1859 this station was built right here but when it was built it was actually named Ealing Junction but in the same year it was actually renamed Totten for Ealing. I don't know when it was changed to Totten but this is also the start of the Forley branch which took trains from Marchwood and Forley which opened in 1925. That closed but there is plans to reopen that line back. So right there is the Winchester train. Now unfortunately that doesn't stop at the next two stations, Redbridge and Millbrook, which is the next two stations that I'm going to look at before heading to Southampton. Now I did have a plan to walk the Redbridge Causeway, which was going to take about a good 15 minutes from here to Redbridge. Unlike Google wanting me to go somewhere all the way around the region, it was going to take 24 minutes. Google, you had one job and you didn't do it. Unfortunately though, the Redbridge Causeway is also closed, so I can't walk on that as well. But however, the path on the other side is a diversionary path for the Redbridge Causeway. So I might be able to do that, but I'm going to head over there now to visit the next station on foot and not by train. So Oh yeah, I picked up a McDonald's um, coffee by the way. So I'm just about to walk over the River Test, but what I found is is a Costa cup here. So I'm guessing Costa does grow on trees. <laughs> so there's a BR arrow, say Redbridge on it, and the station is literally just down this road here. The good thing is though, I actually planned this with 45 minutes to kill, so it will give me enough time to get here for the 1427 to Romsley from Salisbury by Southampton to arrive. Let's head on the platform right now. So we're now on the platform at Redbridge Railway Station. Now the problem is, these services are only served by the Salisbury to Romsley services 
by Southampton Central. Two car class 158 diesel, multiple units. So you can't get a direct trade to Totten from here and you can't get a direct trade from Totten to Redbridge. Now down there is Redbridge Junction. The line on the right takes you towards Salisbury by Romsey and the line on the left, we just came from there, Totten. Well that's a new one for me, I never saw a class 159 diesel multiple unit on the Salisbury to Romsey shuttles before. Very new for me that is, I think it's done it plenty of times but that's the first ever time I've seen that one on that. Going to dive into the history of Redbridge Railway Station now. It opened on the 1st of June 1847 by the Southampton and Dorchester Railway. Also in 1847 the line to Salisbury was built. Now in 1865 the Andover Redbridge Railway was built with a line from Andover to Redbridge, which connected at Romsey. Unfortunately, the line from Romsey to Andover is closed. So we're going to leave Redbridge Railway Station on the 1527 Southwestern Railway Service to one stop down the line in that way towards Southampton, Millbrook. Now Millbrook is a lovely location to fill trades at and you'll see why when we get there. So this is Millbrook Station, the final station before we get to Southampton and it is a lovely place for rail enthusiasts to fill trains because it's a four track bay line. We've got two tracks over here and if I step back this way you've got two tracks over there and it's an island platform as well so you can fill fast trains not even passing through the station. It's just a lovely location. Also Millbrook is right next door to Southampton Western Docks as well which you can see big container ships from here as well. They're really massive. So I'm going to dive into the history of Millbrook Railway Station, honestly. There's not really much to say about this railway station. It opened on the 1st of November 1861 and it's also right next door to Millbrook Freightliner Terminal and as mentioned earlier, Southampton Western Docks as well. So I'm now waiting for the 1631 Southwestern Railway Service to take us to Southampton. And it is another class 195 diesel multiple unit. So let's board this train and head to Southampton.
you're now joining me at Southampton Central Station. This station's got four platforms and a bay platform as well. So technically it's actually got five platforms. But it has really been interesting visiting stations in the New Forest, visiting the Leash Youth Station in Hampshire, and also walking between two stations over the River Test as well. That did really test me a little bit. <laughs> but honestly, it has really been a fun day. And I've also filmed this on the same day as the Limited Branch Line video, which is popping up on screen right now. Please go and give that a click. I have been Simon Trains. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you on the rails for a new journey soon.